From the northern end of the Gulf of California, the Colorado River Delta once extended over nearly two million acres across the border from Mexico into the U.S. The Colorado River dumped huge volumes of water into the upper Gulf of California. And the Delta was literally awash with water. This was an incredible place in terms of ecological productivity, in terms of the diversity of wildlife. Todo lo pasaba para mexicanos por pangas, unas pangotas grandes que pasaba el río Colorado. But irrigated agriculture and a growing population have changed this area drastically over the last century. There was no water running into the delta. There was no river. Si apoyan y si ustedes saben que si no hay agua, pues no hay no hay vida. This is Morelos Dam. It's the last dam in the Colorado River. And most, most of the time, the, the gates are closed because all the water is allocated to the cities and agriculture. What remains is a network of canals taking the river's water everywhere but the Delta. The Delta of the Colorado River is probably one of the most degraded ecosystems in North America. Many people had the impression that the Delta was a dead ecosystem. That wasn't the truth. If you add water to the Delta, the habitat will come back. And El Nino flooding in the 1980s and 90s proved just that. Here comes this water and boom, it's the riparian corridor just revegetated itself. And that really showed the public and the government from Mexico and the U.S that the Delta was uh, a resilient ecosystem. And there's been a, an incredible variety of people from both sides of the border working to understand the Delta, to restore the Delta, to engage local people in understanding the region. The Sonoran Institute, with its partner, Pro Natura, has accumulated decades of research in combination with their own studies, implementing projects throughout the Delta in an attempt to restore its ecosystems. We view the restoration project as involving five very different types of activities. First is community engagement. That is the core of everything we do, is working with local people so they can see the value of the river. The second is understanding the science. We've worked for years to get a sense of how much water is needed where, to understand the hydrology of the region. The third piece is economics. We have to be able to show the Mexican government and the U.S. government that there are tangible, significant economic benefits to restoring the Delta. And the fourth is you've got to show people demonstration projects. You've got to show what restoration means. We can't get anywhere until people can see that an area can be restored with a modest amount of water, a modest amount of, of financial input, and then it's a healthier area for people, for birds, for wildlife. And then finally, to get the policy changed so that we can buy water to restore this region. Water is the, the key element in, in restoration in the Colorado River Delta. What we have been doing is uh, purchasing hectares of water rights and we are dedicating those water rights for the river. For the basic restoration activities, it requires about 50,000 acre feet. We're securing it just one small acquisition at a time uh, the total price tag for acquiring that entire 50,000 acre feet is somewhere around 10 to 15 million dollars. All these numbers add up to just a fraction of a percent of the water currently diverted from the Colorado River. But the benefits of putting water back into the Delta are many. You know, in terms of uh, the economic benefits of uh, the Delta, we could identify four or five key sectors. Farming is, is one. 85% of the water that Mexico gets from the Colorado River is used in the irrigation district. Tourism, you know, we get a lot of hunters, mainly in winter for waterfowl. Another type of recreation is really important in the Delta. Fishing, not only fishing in the river, but fishing on the marine areas, you know, the upper Gulf of California. Reconnecting the Delta's estuarian habitat and the sea so that fresh water can mix with salt water is critical for the survival of marine fisheries. All the economic benefits that are not you know, easy to quantify are the cultural benefits. The Delta 
is my home. This was the traditional tribal lands, and we believe the Kokopa people self were born here and in the mountains. And it sounds funny when you put it in that sense, but if you look at it in terms of natural resources, you know, you cut down a tree too long, you have no home to live in. You block the dams too long, there's no fish to eat. All the animals live, they all, they all die. It's not only about the birds, it's not only about the trees, it's about the people. Pues casi toda mi vida estado en el río. Pues la gente, yo he platicado con varios de ellos y, y sí, este, dice que les gusta cómo, cómo va cambiando lo que se está haciendo el trabajo, ¿no? De re reforestación y están muy contentos con los cambios que se, que se están dando. What the Sonoran Institute does is bring people together to try to find ways to improve the quality of life of the people, to improve the economic development of the region, and of course to improve you know, the habitat and the wildlife here in the Delta. Local staff have collected hundreds of cuttings of native trees and have cultivated them by the thousands, transplanting them at the restoration sites. Pienso que, pues poco a poquito, eh, vamos a ir uh, haciendo más y más árboles hasta llenar los espacios que queremos, ¿no? With enough water to sustain these protected areas, the Sonoran Institute plans to open the sites as parks for the local people and tourists to recreate, something that has been missing for a generation or more. For the people that come here to have an experience of the site and to realize that and know the place and realize that many things can be done. My father used to take me uh, camping, fishing when I was a kid. So I enjoyed that. I got actually connected to, to nature. And here in the Delta, many people didn't have that opportunity. But now, you know, with, with the restoration efforts, uh, I think people are, are actually impressed and, and, and are willing and, and committed to, to support and participate in restoration efforts. We've been working here since 1997. We've seen tremendous progress in the last 13, 14 years, and we see tremendous progress ahead of us. We have the political will and support of communities and the government. Now we require the funds to, you know, scale up the restoration projects, secure a base flow for the river, and also, you know, to, to involve more, more members of the community. The future is that we have to work not throughout borders, but throughout the ecosystems themselves. But we can preserve what is left and build up to, to uh, in certain areas where we can say, look, this is how it used to be. Posiblemente va a estar difícil, no? Pero yo creo que mucha gente le gustaría mirar el río como estaba antes. If the Sonoran Institute and its partners secure the water they need, the Delta could return to a vibrant ecosystem and the Colorado River could reconnect along its entire length, once again reaching the sea. For more information, visit sonoraninstitute.org.